Welcome to Zoodestia Zoo! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here for another side quest! I want to spend a little bit more time in the garden and we have a new villager zombie to cure! Yay! Woohoo! I'm so excited! New babies! New children to add into the Village of Light! Or I should say, actually, the Village of Light's under construction. I meant Zomberry Village. New, new villagers! Alia, Ash, Iris, what do you guys think of that, huh? Huh? I need to remember which one of these guys uh, actually has, including the other dogs, don't worry, they're just over the ridge a little bit. Uh, I need to remember which one has puppy eyes, because when we go to visit the villagers today, they might drop a whole bunch of gold and useful things. So we'll, we'll be back, little ones, I'll be back. I'm checking in on the rest of the family real quick. All right, Zozo, you're doing fine. And how's it going over here? Everybody's okay. Sorry you gotta sit down, guys. I just need to get more food for you first. But yes, good morning, everyone. So, I figured it would just be a nice little time to come in and do some extra work. Our little Confucius bird. Which, by the way, I found out con for... Let's see. Con for shush ornus. Con... Confucius Ornus. Confucius Ornus. I'm trying to get it. It's quite the mouthful of a word, but it is Greek for Confucius birds. So when I call them Confucius birds, I'm right on the money. So glad about that. But yes, so uh, that little bird's doing well, but we're always still struggling for food and have so many other tasks to do in the zoo that I figured it would be time for another awesome side quest. Like, <gasps> what was that? Oh my gosh, tomato seeds! Oh, they were right! This really is how we pick up random seeds now. Okay, let's see what else we can get done. And some of you guys have been suggesting, Siri, why don't you just make a trader to trade, like, two rotten flesh? Ah, dang it, no more, no more tomato seeds. That was really cool. We'll have to put these away. These are a new seed. But yeah, why don't I make a trader to trade rotten flesh for pork so that the dogs will have something to eat? And I think we'll definitely be setting up the traders again soon. I just need to find the time to be able to actually, like, <laughs> go and make the new villages and make the people that we're going to interact with. It's really hard. It takes a long, long time. More time than people realize. Hello, Martha Jr. Hello, Agent Noodles. And uh, you guys are so silly. I swear. Rose Red, you are, you are a silly, silly little, little red chicken. Oh, thank you. And I love the flowers that you lay down. But yeah, it takes a long time to set up the NPCs, so that's why we're kind of kind of struggling on that front. But hopefully, after the move is done, not the move in the world in Sudestia, but the move in real life, then I will have more time to be able to set up the Village of Light and have our wonderful trading centers back, because I need them desperately. So we'll be working on that. But yeah, today I just kind of want to run around, tend to the garden really quickly. Okay, how's my okra going? Oh, I love okra. It's so yummy. What could I cook my okra into? Make a nice hearty meal. Mixed salad, garden soup, veggie bait, Sunday roast. I think I've done this before and I'm constantly sad that uh, the just the fried okra or a skillet okra as I should say because I don't deep fry my okra but I make it skillet okra and oh my gosh it's so good. A little bit of coconut oil in the skillet. Oh I love okra. Oh I'm so hungry now. Okra sounds delicious. But speaking of tomato seeds, look at our tomato harvest. Oh, glorious, oh, glorious, glorious. I'm so happy. Look at all this. We could definitely turn this tomato stuff into something good. And I might even start trying. Oh, and here we go. And I think we have a lemon tree, don't we? I could have sworn I had a lemon tree. There's my lemon tree. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do like a taste of summer for our friends and try to gather up enough lemons. There we go. Enough lemons and tomatoes, maybe some chili peppers. We can make lemonade pretty sure we can make some lemonade. Ooh, look at that! Honey lemon slices? With a little bit of honey? Oh, that would be amazing! Pavola, fish dinner, mince pie, oh, whoops. Let's see, what else? Peas and celery. That sounds so freaking good! Lemon meringue pie, lemon lime soda, honey lemon lamb, lemon bars. Oh, this is what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to, like, start preparing more foods candied lemon and share them with our friends because that just sounds absolutely delicious oh my gosh but let's see hello carlos any eggs any eggs no eggs that's fine let me see we're gonna come over here i've actually been working on trying to clear out oops those are my food my little food i've been trying to clear out some of the the constant food that we're gathering up in here but we're doing really good our little root cellar has got quite a bit in it now 
if we come down here and like check in on the apples, we've got a couple stacks of apples. We've got lots of mushrooms. We've got lots of gourds. Whoops, and I put the mushrooms in the wrong spot. Let's put them where they belong. Ta-da! Oh, and I guess, you know, giving everybody a whole bunch of mushroom stew or something like that would be a smart move. Because we're next to a bunch of mushrooms, so it makes sense to be like, here you go guys, have some awesome mushrooms! Also, one day we are going to try to take the brown mushroom seeds and start our own little mushroom farm by analyzing the seeds in AgriCraft and really like skyrocketing how much is in there. Oh, oh, and let me show you guys the adorable mushroom chairs that we now have. And Anasia was so excited to hear about this, so we might drop mushroom chairs off with everybody. Hello, darling. Darling, I really need to cook on this counter and dancing on the cutting board. Darling, darling, I love you. Okay, get down. Nope, get off the bread. We don't walk on our bread. Don't walk on the dodo either. Oh, you, you, you're so silly sometimes, darling. All right. Oh, I forgot I had all this glass in here. And if we take the little mushroom now and we make a stack of nine out of it, it makes a brown mushroom box, and let me show you what that does. Ta-da! Isn't it so cute? And you can sit in it! You can sit in it! Little mushroom seat! Isn't this the cutest thing in the world? I love it! I am so in love with this. Imagine having these as benches through our zoo. Wouldn't that be the cutest thing? I'm going to put a couple over here. Like a couple of mushroom chairs. That way if you want to come out and you just kind of want to like relax. Whoops! Oh, I'm in the chair! I was like, what's going on? All right, there we go. So am I in the chair? <gasps> I'm in the chair. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? All oh, these mushroom chairs. They're so adorable. I love it. All right, so let me pop out of the chair. We'll probably deliver a few of these to our friends because they are amazing. And they're a great way to store the mushrooms. And now I'm hungry. All right, big potato. But yeah, so, hmm. Gardening, gardening, gardening. There's always more gardening to do. But we do have another new little villager that needs cured so let's see actually there he is rescued he is another rescue villager who i have plucked out from the depths of the zombie spawner and we have the de-zombification syringe prepared darling don't jump on carlos so let's go ahead and we will cure him and then we'll take a snooze uh, curing him at night is probably good because if he gets out then at least like it won't be <laughs> It won't be sunny and he won't start burning, but we'll take a quick snooze after this and then all right are We ready? Mm -hmm. There you go, buddy. There you go. I'm gonna rinse this off while you're in there Okay, clean the syringe off. There we go. Always need to take proper safety precautions and let's see what kind of villager he is We'll go and we'll try to name them. Oh because that reminds me we can make name tags now Oh jeez Louise, I thought the zombie opened up the the door and that just about scared me to pieces so he is a graveyard villager, so a, a grave keeper, and he's in charge of skeleton skulls. That's a little bit morbid, sir, but I'm not going to question it. All right, let's go take a snooze, but we can indeed make name tags now, so we'll probably make a whole bunch of name tags. I'll make a whole bunch of names, and oh, Martha, thank you for the egg. Are you helping Darling with his studies? Thank you so much. Is she helping you, Darling? I hope so. Oh, 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 and I have something else really exciting to show you guys. I just remembered. Check it out. Leaf armor, but it's diamond level. It's diamond leaf armor. I figured out how to retexture it. So we now have the diamond quality on our leaf armor. So this is wonderful. We don't have the steel leaves from Twilight Forest, but I figured it would be okay because this is actually a lot more expensive. It's diamond armor. Da, 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 da. And we can probably put some enchantments on it and things like that if I really want to. But it'll be a lot more useful and a lot safer to use than the actual um, Stilly Farmer. Because Stilly Farmer is only as good as iron armor. And that's why my hat broke when I got attacked by a little zombie thing. But this is my legitimate Stilly Farmer. And it's just not quite as protective as my wonderful diamond armor now is. So I'm really excited about that. And we can put this into here because it's diamond armor and repair it. So I'm really excited. And you'll see I actually gave the glorious grafter my diamond axe a makeover. So now it looks like a steel leaf axe. So I'm actually really happy about that because it's like I have all the awesome steel leaf stuff. But it's diamond quality, which I think is great. You guys are really supportive about it. I thought about doing it so that I had to like use zookeeper experience because someone suggested using zookeeper experience for the exchange that would have been cool it, 
I just don't know how I would have done it because I already had the diamond armor. Oh, it's another another egg. Thank you. All right, time to snooze. Then we will make some name tags, put together a few names, and go and play with our villagers. We'll see what their trades are, and we'll see if we can set ourselves up. Whoops. Opened up my, my chest at the end of the bed. Hey, darling. I love how he wanders all the way up in the house. That's really fun. There we go. Write my little journal. Today is a good day. I have new steel leaf diamond armor. There we go. And I'm going to collect the essence berries really quickly just because I always feel like I need, I might need, oh, I will need this to use on the name tags actually. So let's go ahead and gather these up. There we go. And Nightlock is hanging out up here too. All right. Almost done. Any more? One right there. One right there. Why did I put some of these so hard to reach? Eh, ouch, ouch. Because this stuff bites. Come on. I gotcha. Oh, and you're already regrown. Sweet. All right, good. So we have enough that we should probably be able to name things. Let me get the string out of the closet. I've been uh, cutting away at that Spanish moss. Fantastic renewable resource of string. Totally in love with it. See, look at this Spanish moss. And it all turns immediately into one string. Ta-da! Just like that. All right, so let's go downstairs. And we need, I think, paper. Ooh, I don't know if I have any paper. That might put a hindrance on things. Eh. Do I have any paper up here? Persephone, it would be in here if I did. In the library, pretty sure. All right, yeah, Captain Kaz and Major Calhoun won't have any paper with them. Drat! See, that's okay. What the heck was that noise? Was it just the cats? Mm. Oh, Aster Seed! Oh my goodness, we'll have to take care of Aster Seed. Look, the mushrooms are really roaming quite far now, and our, our Poke and Jayet pigs are still roaming free. I love it. All right, yeah, we'll take care of that later. Still getting tons of gold. Um, so let me think. Name tags. Pretty sure to craft a name tag, which we can do now. We do need paper. And to get paper, we can use rice or wild rice. We can also use sugar canes. Or we could put the, the paper into a wipe box now and then de demantle it, like dismantle it. And it's nine paper again, kind of like what we did with the mushrooms. Uh, we can analyze it. Huh. So pretty much I need to gather up some sugar canes now. So that kind of backfired because we're still learning about so many of the new things that we need to gather. But that's okay. We're not going to be discouraged because the whole thing is exploring and adventuring and getting to embrace our new world. So I'm actually pretty happy because even little things like this running into a bump in the system where we're like, wait a second, we don't have this. We don't have that. That's fine because it's just part of like figuring out what we're going to add to the world and what adventures we need to go on. I am not discouraged, ever optimistic. Plus, we do have some leftover name tags from the old world, just a few. So let's go ahead and we will actually use these name tags and I will at least give four villagers some names. Oh, I should probably eat my essence berries first. Nom 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 nom. I wonder, I don't think I want to name any of the grave keepers just yet. Unless I can think of like really kind of creepy names like Dracula or something. Well, that's too creepy. I would be concerned about having someone named Dracula in with my villagers. So let's see what we come up with. Hmm. How about Tina? We'll name somebody Tina. And we will name somebody, um, oh, there were so many nice names for the villagers, the new villagers, and I can't remember them. Uh, let's go with Darian? Yeah, I like Darian for the, the new barkeeper that we got, which is quite cool. He probably wants like a nice little restaurant. It would actually be really cool to build a little restaurant in Zomberry Village. I will consider that. And then let's do Jessica. Because we try to mix in both kinds of names, like both female and male names. Even though villagers, yeah, they all kind of look the same. All right, and then finally, let's go with Justin. Kind of your more traditional names, but I think that's all right. All right, and then I'm going to put this glass away really quickly before I forget. Also this wood. And I love these seeds. A new type of tomato. How many types of tomato do we have now? I think we've got, oh, ooh, look at this. We've got one tomato. 
two tomato, three tomatoes. So we have three different types of tomatoes. And how can we use this tomato? So we can make grated tomato in the food processor with this tomato. We can also put raw pork chop and cabbage together to make a minced BLT. Or we can make a giant burger. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. A giant burger, grated tomato, if we put like the grater up against it. There we go, so that's another way of doing it. Or just get tomato seeds. So what can I do with grated tomato? Hmm. I can make tomato juice and get strength. That is so cool. We will have to focus on making the tea machine and getting some of the many, many, many types of tea that we can have in the future because that would be so awesome. All right, so we're back up top. And I'm going to open this up. Let's see. Ah, we really never have anything that's trade worthy for these guys. So I'm going to have to work on that too. But it's okay, one step at a time, one step at a time. In fact, do I have an empty notebook or something like that? Hmm, I have my clipboard. You're adorable, Carlos. I love you. Do I have... Oh, I need to put these away, like now, my fossil picks. I didn't even realize they were still on me. We're going to put those away this very second. do 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 ba do do because I don't want to lose them. It would be devastating to lose these. So, do, do, do. whoops. <laughs> All right, don't get out, you guys. No escaping while I'm busy. All right, I'm going to throw... I saw some biofossils. I think we got the biofossils... Yeah, we got the biofossils off the dogs earlier. And I was like, you guys, why do you have the biofossils? All right, we'll put this away. And I'm going to put half of you in there. And I'm going to put half of you in here. And put these back where they belong. And look, I changed the other diamond picks to look like steel leaf. Because I love the steel leaf. I really do. So my diamond picks now look like steel leaf picks. And my swords look like steel leaf swords, even though they're diamond. So all of our diamond stuff basically now looks like steel leaf. Because I think it's, it's much more awesome. Alright, there we go. I feel better about that. Hmm, I know the cats actually need to go one more up. The cats have a little book. And I just feel like I forget all the time what the villagers trade. And I want to try to remember what would be useful to bring. And what would be useful to start trying to uh, farm. So, oops, is that another egg? Thank you! Right in the little, the little fruit bowl. That's adorable. I would love to find, like, random bird eggs in my fruit bowls. That's just so cute. And pretty soon we'll be able to make a proper little... Oops, there's another egg on the ground. Thank you, Martha! Pretty soon we'll be able to make, like, an adorable little egg carton chest and fill it with hay and take it and give it to Anisha as a present. A fellow dodo lover. Hello Jude, how are you doing? Doing well, good, all right. Nothing at the mailbox yet. We'll figure that out in the future. And I think, yeah, Kate actually suggested, one of our viewers, Kate, who's a really awesome lady, uh, has suggested like making a little button so that a little flag, like a little black or a red piece of wool will pop up to let me know that there's like wool and or there's um letters so when people come and drop off letters they can hit the button and it'll make the little or flip a, le a lever i guess and it'll make the little flag pop up and i'll know i have mail and i think that's an adorable idea so i'll try to figure out how to set that up teleportation chameleon and here we are zomberry village oh they're so cute all right let's release our newest guy Go onward, and please do not scare my other villagers too much with talk of death and all of that nonsense. And let's just start naming people. I think I saw the guy I wanted to name, Darian. He's like our new barkeeper. Hello! Iron ore berries, huh? That's pretty awesome. Is that him? I think that's him. That's him! This is the guy I want to name Darian. So we can trade empty large bottles to him. And he'll also <laughs> take an emerald to get a yutsu. Well, I have a whole garden full of them, sir, so I'm doing okay. But we'll name you Darian. And then this... Oh, I like you! I'll give you a name. You're going to be Jessica. Because Cole, Cole, I can probably manage. Perhaps. It is a little bit rare now that we have rock hounding in. Here's Matt with the awesome glowstone. Kulo, Matt. Kulo. All right, hang on, Matt. Pardon me. Uh, may I may I get past? Thank you. All right, Junior the third, my grandson. How are you? I know you want more money. All right, here is oh Iverson. How are you? Doing good, I hope. Doing good. All right, rubber saplings, mm -hmm. acacia saplings. Have no idea where I'm gonna find those for you, my friend. Matt, how you doing? So everyone in here has a name except for you. So I guess you're Tina. Hello, Tina. 
All right. Man, I have a lot of the graveyard villagers. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy. All right. And then we have a Justin. I need to name somebody Justin. There's Ash Jr. Look at it. The diamond sword now looks like leaf swords. Oh, that's so cool. Ash Jr. I'm going to bring the other half of your spirit back soon. And this... Hmm. Are you a Justin? You kind of look like a Justin. Oh, JJ! How are you doing, son? He's doing pretty good. Everybody wants money. They don't want to give me money. Pretty much everybody just wants money. Ash Jr. Oh, hey, Joey! How you doing? You have sweet iron ore berries. You, black cocoa. You look like a Justin. You can be Justin. So emerald for black cocoa, which gives you 30 seconds of night vision. That is cool. That is cool. I like that. Whoops. Eh, eh. Why do they always glitch the store out? Okay, and somebody wants to trade raw pork chops for emeralds. So, hmm. Villager notes. I guess I could start a villager note notebook. That sounds adorable. All right, so we're going to say this is July 3rd. Well, I guess that's not really going to help me. Yeah, I guess that's really not going to help me as time goes on, but let's, we'll just put down some little notes. Um, added a new graveyard villager in today. He was a rescue from the zombie grinder, as so many new villagers are lately. Everyone's staring at me. The population is is growing and new housing, new homes, hmm, can't even fit that in. New housing will be needed soon. All right, and trades to remember, trades to note, I should say. Wool for emerald, wool for emerald. I guess I don't have to put that down. Wool, uh, empty bottles. Uh, well, I should specify, like, what, what kind of bottles are they? Again, I'm trying to remember, like, what kind of bottles? Justin, it wasn't you who sells them. Where's Darian? Oops, sorry, Tinker. <laughs> I'm, like, shoving this Tinker down the stairs. All right. Let's see. Man, they all want money from me. I'm not gonna... Oh my gosh, you are kidding me. How did you get in here? How did you two get in here? This is supposed to be zombie-proof. I'm so glad I came tonight. I think they may have fallen down from up there. Because there's no spawning places anywhere inside of the village. Well, I'm glad I came. We rescued our village. Yeah, I think they fell down from up there. So I'll have to light up that corner a lot more. Hmm, noted. Alright. Sir, you realize you were in grave danger? Yeah? Don't care? Were you stuck on something? No, you just, you're bold. Bold, bold, bold. Don't care. And then we've got these two, Tina dancing around. Junior the third, Iverson, Matt. Tell me that's not... Alright, no, I think it's Darian. Hey, Darian! So it's empty large bottles that you trade. Alright. So we'll put that down in the notes. Empty large bottles. And then, let's see, pork chops. Oh, there's a ghost. That's fine. That's fine. He's over by the graveyard, too. I think the graves may have spawned him. We might have to put the graveyard much further away from our home than just kind of to the left of the village. Uh, pork chops. I don't think there's anything else that people are really willing to trade me that's worth it at the moment. They all want my emeralds. Hey, 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 hey. All right, Tina, you want stuff? You guys really need to calm down. Like, I can't get in to interview the villagers. Alright, Juno the third, you want iron, but you won't give it to me until I open up more of your trades. Matt, you glowstone, Iverson, yeah, dang it! Well, I love you guys, but geez, you're making it hard to, like, have a proper business. Because no one wants to trade anything! Okay, well, I'll remember that. I'll remember that, you guys. Alright, so we've added new villagers in, and I guess I'm just going to really have to go. I know somebody trades wool, but it looks like we're going to have to rely on Darian and just trade empty large bottles to Darian until we can start opening up some other trades. So, noted, and I'll just have to keep this. Oh, I should probably note. Alright. Need to light up some of the overhanging uh, cliffs around the village. Two zombies today. Two zombies tonight. Not good. Need to save my little villagers. Alright, let's put this away. I'll remember this is my little villager handy dandy guide notebook. And while we're at it, let's just go up there real quick. Because that's actually by the memorial tree. What was that? That's right, you guys better stay away. 
keep an eye on those zombies. I'm gonna just take care of them real quick. Do 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 do. Where's that ghost? Who knows? Get out of here. See, they can't get in. I've worked really hard to try to secure this area. You know what I need? I need a bow. Hmm. Yeah, they can't just easily get in. Oh, here comes the ghost. Uh-huh. You want to cause problems? I see you trying to come down on top of me. Got him. But yeah, we'll go ahead. Start. <gasps> new baby! Come here, son! Oh, I'm so excited. I love it when I get new villagers. Alright. Yeah, we'll go ahead and kind of light some of this area up. Dun 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 dun! Yeah, I'm pretty sure this grave is actually spawning monsters, because that's what graves do. So it would be good to put an area where we wanted to have like a little obstacle course and, and fight against against the undead that rise from such tainted ground. Alright, let's see. So this is how I get up, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I need to fix how I get to the memorial garden, because it's a little bit, a little bit wonky donkey right now. Alright, I see you, sir. Uh-huh. Woof, there we go. How many? Oh, yay! That was our 101th kill. Our 101th kill. There we go. Um, oh, wild carrots. With the the sword of light. So that's wonderful. Alright, let's light this place up. And come over here. And yeah, I think the, the zombies must have just... Aha! Aha, aha, aha! Well, none of that, huh? Yeah, I don't want him to be able... Don't want him to be able to get out of there. Alright, we'll come over here. So yeah, we don't come up here much anymore, but this is our tree of illumination. So it's looking beautiful. There's the memorial garden, which has grown. Each one of those Nymphsias represents one of you guys. Uh, like a hundred of you guys. So the Nymphsia buds themselves on the actual Nymphsia represents you guys. And this should help. There we go. Anywhere else where they could have... You look suspicious, taking you out. Yeah, maybe... I think that's like... Alright, and what about over on that side? Yeah, that side looks kind of secure. I might need to double-double secure it. But I think we're good. Okay, good. Alright! Well, I'm going to head on home. We now have another zombie villager to cure, so we kind of are right back where we were before. Oh, look, we can actually do that now! Oh, fudge. Well, that was pleasant. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so we'll finish up by curing this zombie villager really quickly. And we'll have to go back to the house to do it, because I want to be in a secure location and not accidentally hurt my villagers. Let's see, can I get over here by... Whoop! Yay! Alright! I don't have feather falling on these boots, but it should be okay. Alright, let's see. At least, I, I mean, I say it should be okay, and then I'm, like, too nervous to jump down. Here! This is the cliff spot we need to be at anyway, because I think that they managed to spawn on top of this little cliff spot. So, ta-da! Hopefully that'll help things out. And can I climb down a little bit? Maybe? This, oh my gosh, am I really going to do this? Oh dear. Phew. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I may have a intense fear of heights, but I try to keep it reined in, especially when it's time to rescue villagers. Alright, now let's go back home because we need our seed shed to safely cure this villager. Do do do. And whoops, going the wrong way. Teleportation chameleon. And then we'll bring him back and release him with the others. Hello, Jude! So a busy morning of side quest things. There's always so much to do in the zoo. So trying to do a few side quests now and then <laughs> uh, to finish things up is very helpful. All right, let's get out our last golden apple that I had prepared. Thankfully, I've got plenty of gold, so we can always make more. And we're going to go ahead and get out our little zombie villager. And boom, and boom. Whoops, got stuck on the door. Hi, buddy. I know, right? Oh, you're so cute. I'm so glad that we're, like, curing you, too. All right, we'll clean this. And there we go. Man, it's hard to get stuff done. Really? Another one? I mean, I don't want to complain, but I just feel like we've got an excess of grave 
keepers who just want to give us heads of dead mobs. Alright, thank you very much, sir. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and return him to his home. His new home, where he can hopefully learn more. I guess they're, are they going through like kind of an, an you know, emotional stage, like, well, I was the undead. I, I remember what it was like. I must be a gravekeeper. Alright, let's pop out here. Hey, Darian! I like Darian, because he's the only one we can trade anything to right now. And there we go. More new villagers to hopefully be very happy and run around our village. And Zomberry Village is really growing. I think we might have to set up... There, there's Abby. Hey, Abby! What about you? What do you want to trade? Oh, that's not bad, actually. If we could really get some emeralds going, she'll actually trade us biofossils now. Alright, so yeah, we're going to have to see what we can do to help Zomberry village, village grow. I feel like there's so many villagers now, adding another couple houses would be a good idea. And we might add a little house with like a small restaurant in the bottom for the cafe villagers. And maybe we'll put some NPCs in pretty soon. So it may not be a village of light, but at least we've got a good start going on here. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!